I hope you can hear me because the birds are so loud. <laughs> Всем привет! I'm glad to see you on my channel today and this video was one that me and my husband <laughs> enjoyed filming the most because it's going to be about a traditional Georgian food, uh, homemade Georgian meals made by Georgian here on this beautiful winery that I've been uh, showing you in my latest video. I'm not going to share the most popular Georgian meals like Hinkali, Hachapuri. We will not eat them here. Uh, I don't even know if they have them. But we are going to eat more just simple meals that Georgians eat regularly that are very common in Georgia, very traditional meals, not the most popular ones, because the most popular ones I'll keep for probably a separate video, we'll maybe cook them somewhere, but this video is about other very interesting meals that we really enjoyed eating here, we tried everything. <laughs> So let's see what meals are popular here and what meals are very traditional and common among local Georgians. Ребят, скажи что-нибудь свое оправдание. Что за преступление? Кто кинул котику? Кто кинул котику вверх? Не а знаешь? Нет. Нет? Ага, ага, ага. 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 Нельзя давать котику. Что котику животик будет болеть? Котики! So it's our first uh, dinner here. We just came here and the dinner is already ready. <laughs> and it's going to rain very heavily very soon so we already have our first meal we ordered just a couple of them so the first meal is called shakmiruli uh, it's a chicken with a cream sauce and garlic it smells very good you can hear a cows <laughs> here we have also bread and Tola started to try different kinds of wine that they have here and I have water with mint and uh, lemons. So usually they fry chicken in a pan with the sauce made of milk or cream with a lot of garlic, a bit of oil, salt and some local spices, but not too many. It has such a soft like cream taste and also with all the spices it's very good it's not spicy and it's like very creamy but i don't know how to explain i i don't know how to explain food but the spices are very very nice not spicy not oily just perfect Ты довольный и счастливый, да? Угу. Я хорошее место выбрал. Mm -hmm. Уж молодец, хвалите меня. Next meal we have here. I can even hear how hot they are. Not only smell and see, but hear also. Um, these are mushrooms with sologuni. They are... I don't know how exactly they cook them. They're kind of bake or grill or fry them. And we have grilled uh, vegetables. This is not very Georgian, but this is, I think, this looks very good. <laughs> По шкале от 1 до 10. 11. А курица тогда? 15. Курица восхитительная. Выгоняй. 
I would say mm, 7 out of 10 for me because it's very salty like the cheese is salty and the mushroom itself is salty I'm not a big fan of salt but if you like salty things you'll like that I love mushrooms a lot so that's why I like it but just a little bit too salty for me so as I know they usually cook it with butter and then cheese so it's like stuffed mushrooms next meal we are going to eat is called ajib sandale it's a vegan meal and we are going to cook it together with the owner of uh, the winery i'm very excited for this experience and to see how they cook it like on fire outdoors So for a gypsum dali we need eggplants, tomatoes, onion, garlic, oil, maybe olive oil or sunflower oil, greens like parsley and cilantro, a bit of hot pepper and some spices. They never measure anything, just add everything approximately. They said that as a casual meal they usually cook it at home just in a pan, but this is a much fancier way to cook it on an open fire outdoors and it gives much stronger and interesting taste to the meal. The cow was joining us by the way she was drinking right near for quite a while as well as her baby a little later we also forgot to take garlic and cutting board from home so Tolo was catching it from the balcony they add quite a lot of onions and garlic and pieces are quite big too they don't cut them too small usually so you can really taste onions and garlic They often use vine cuttings for burning instead of wood since they obviously have many of them and also it gives food an extra flavor. vegetables just for a couple minutes to give them that burnt smell and flavor then peel them cut and add it to the pan Then we added greens, a bit of hot pepper, salt and spices like paprika and khmeli suneli. Khmeli suneli is a traditional Georgian mix that they use for many of their meals. We 
курица вчера была 15 у тебя. Курица 15. Это восьмерочка. Восьмерочка? Да. Потому что острая? Да. Остренько. Ну, я Он догоняет потом быстро. А слюбочку нанимаем. Ну, очень вкусно. It's the next day already and we have our special lunch today. Uh, we have a meal called Chesushuli. Uh, it's beef with um, tomatoes, like it's in a sauce. Uh, it was like stirred and fried for quite a long time. There are some greens also. And honestly, it smells so good. It smells like tomatoes and You probably can hear some Georgian, <laughs> Georgian language. <laughs> um, tomatoes and spices. I think it might be spicy. We have a lot of bread and we have a little bit of water. We also, I wanted to show you, uh, we have a salad. Nothing too special about the salad, but we've noticed that Georgians love to peel cucumbers. So all the cucumbers in all the salads we've been trying here were peeled. We usually, like, we usually never peel cucumbers. I don't know, maybe it's just common here. <laughs> so let's try Cheshushuli. They usually use veal meat for this meal from baby cows, tomatoes, tomato sauce, garlic, onions, and fresh greens, obviously, and spices too, like melisonelli and peppers. Mm. Горяченький. Острый? Нет. Очень вкусно. Что, 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 что ты чувствуешь? Так нежно. Сколько из 10? 12. Курицу не перебил. I don't like uh, fat in meat, so I try to pick the least fatty pieces. <laughs> There are a lot of sauce also. Mm. Mm. It's very good. The meat is like very soft and it's not spicy. I don't know if they cook it here not spicy for us only. <laughs> Because last time we were cooking a Jepson Dali and the owner said that he decided not to add too much spices because <laughs> he was taking care of us. <laughs> so I don't know, but this is not spicy. It has spices, definitely. It's very good. I like it a lot. I think I like it even more than chicken, probably. 10 out of 10, definitely. And the last meal we have for today is called Lobio. It's beans with nuts. Um, looks not very good, but actually I think it's very tasty. Lobu is usually made of beans stewed with walnuts, garlic, onions, and spices like coriander, but the recipe may vary from family to family. They usually eat it with um, corn, like little breads that they cook themselves. So they are called mchadi but we don't have them now with us, unfortunately. So we'll try it with just bread. Tolly is the first one who tries everything. <laughs> I think Tolly is not a big fan of beans in general, mm -hmm. so... Okay, this one is my least favorite. <laughs> no, I mean, it's not bad, but 
I kind of don't like it too. So it has very weird taste. Uh, it's a mix of beans and nuts, so it's like, you know, it's like a mix of beans and nuts, if you can imagine that. I think it doesn't have much anything else. Like, there are a little bit of greens too, not not many spices. So it has a very weird texture. I think we're just not used to that kind of food at all. So these were all the meals we tried this time. We also wanted to try uh, chakapuli. This is uh, a popular meal that they cook with beef or lamb and a lot of tarragon, a lot of kemali. It's like meat with a green sauce, a little bit similar to chashashuli that we've just eaten, but not with tomatoes, with a green sauce. And they didn't have it this time, unfortunately, so maybe I'll show it to you next time if we eat it somewhere else. But for this time, that's all. And um, I think my favorite one was Ajib Sandali, but it was too spicy for me. It was hard for me to eat it. But if it would be less spicy, I think I've just, I would eat everything. <laughs> so yeah, I've also liked chicken a lot. Uh, and the last meal with beef and tomatoes. So yeah, Tolia was really happy too. He loved almost everything and everything is very tasty, very interesting. So thank you a lot for watching guys. I hope it was kind of interesting for you to see what we've eaten and uh, interesting to find out what meals are popular here among the most popular ones, the most popular ones I'll talk about later <laughs> so yeah thank you a lot for watching and i hope to see you in my next video bye bye